boats connect towns around Lake Lucerne. That's its English name, but the Swiss call it the Vierwaldstädtersee, literally, Lake of the Four Forest Cantons. That's because it lies at the intersection of four of Switzerland's cantons, or states. Romantics will want to ride one of the classic paddleboat steamers. A short ride drops you at any number of interesting sites, one of which comes with a surprise. Imagine, it's 1941. You're Swiss. Your country is surrounded by Hitler and Mussolini. The Nazis are on the move. What to do? Turn your mountains into a hidden fortress. The Swiss managed to make their rugged mountains an even more effective barrier. How? By lots of strategic tunneling. One example, the Fortress Furigen, has done its duty. Recently decommissioned, it now welcomes visitors interested in Switzerland's secret defenses. In, in central Switzerland, we have uh, now nine forts like this, bigger ones and smaller ones. There are installed, I think, in total, 44 cannons. The Swiss implemented a plan to retreat into the mountainous heart of the country and defend themselves with a series of hidden fortresses dug into the mountainsides like this one. Here we enter into bunker number two. You see here the cannon. You can turn it, the elevation and the azimuth. So I can sit here on the gun. Can I yeah. sit on this? Yeah, you can. Push this down. Yeah. 62. So, fine, yeah. And then I go, I want to go to 21. Fine, okay. yes. And you now, do it right, yes. Wow, there it is, 62-21. The top of the peak. And fire. <laughs> With the advent of the Cold War in the 1950s, the fortress was retooled for the threat of the USSR. The Swiss have since found documents indicating that both the Nazis and the Soviets actually had plans to invade Switzerland. This is the bedroom for 100 soldiers, 50 beds. They have to share it because they have to work in shifts. This is the dining room and over here the kitchen. And all these rooms and other forts have been built for survival of Switzerland. Hitler took Belgium, Netherlands, and we had the feeling we are next. Wandering through this hidden fortress, you're reminded how perilous Switzerland's position was in the 20th century and how committed the Swiss were to defending their freedom. <laughs> 